You are disseminating very valuable information to people who are in vulnerable positions. They are perhaps new in this country. They'd like to have information. Uh, for the most part, they would like to do things uh, honestly and fairly to establish themselves as citizens or legal permanent residents, I'm sorry, or uh, just to get basic information that's often unavailable. And thanks to the Daily News and also to CUNY and so many other volunteers were providing this service. I was here last year and I must say, like on a short list of 10, it's one of the most creative things I've seen go on. And particularly right now when there are, is a reaction around this country that is uh, antithetical if not antagonistic to uh, what is really the spirit of this country. It's what that lady stands in the harbor beckoning us and the Daily News had a lot to do with uh, her rejuvenation, the Statue of Liberty, who says, uh, bring your dreams to me. And so many of our ancestors have done that. And so many of us are the beneficiaries of it. So it's a pleasure to come down and thank you all for the work you do. And let me not uh, take any more time that otherwise could be devoted to helping new uh, New Yorkers, hopefully maybe one day citizens who will help us solve some of the difficult problems we have right now and uh, blaze a path to an exciting future. Thank you all very much.